Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. Uh, today I'm upgrading from PHP 7.4 to PHP 8.3 FPM on the rmtechcentral.com web servers. Uh, the server I'll be working on in this video is running Ubuntu Linux Server 20.04 along with WordPress. All right, first things first, and I feel like this is the most important thing, uh, back the server up. This is really easy for me because I'm running this in Hyper-V, so all I have to do is right click it and go to export and export it. So that's going to back up the entire virtual machine. So if anything goes wrong, I can just restore it from that backup really easily and quickly. All right, so we're all backed up now, and that means I can mess anything up that I want, or possibly could, and uh, I'm gonna be fine, because I can just go back and I can restore it from the backup. Uh, with that said, let's go ahead and open up PuTTY, so I can remote into this uh, the server here, and then we'll start installing uh, PHP 8.3 FPM. All right, so here we are sitting here, fresh login very first thing you want to do is you want to install the PHP repository. So to do that, we'll go ahead and put this in right here. Enter. Just type in my password. Now I think I already, I did this ahead of time on the server, maybe not. Either way, it doesn't matter. All right, step one complete. Next thing, go sudo apt update. Figure I might as well do it now because it's just gonna happen uh, the next time I update anyways. So after that, sudo apt upgrade. And now what this is going to do is install, I. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm not sure. I uh, I was going to say all every single PHP version, but I think it's just upgrade or updating 7.4, which is what I was uh, or which I'm still on currently, and then installing the latest versions possibly. Look, I, I'm not a rocket scientist. All right, I just do what I'm told around here. So this right here doesn't really matter. If you have special custom customizations in your old php.ini file, make sure that you remember those changes. Just back the file up or copy and paste it or something. So that way you don't lose all of the stuff that you have configured in there. But for this installation, I'm just gonna go keep the local version currently installed. We're gonna be overwriting it with another one anyways. We want to check and see what modules are currently installed. So we'll go PHP hyphen M. Now what I do is select all of this and then just paste it into a notepad document. Like so. So that way, once I install the, the new version of PHP, I can run that command again and then verify that uh, everything is is the same. <clears throat> so now that we have that done, let's go ahead and really get down to business here. So this is where it's going to be uh, this is where it's going to be different for a few folks depending on whether you're wanting a PHP FPM or a PHP like the old way, that is the Apache module. Uh, I'll do my best to show you both. Like I said earlier, I'm going to be installing PHP 8.3 FPM. I'll just go ahead and show you what you would do if you were installing this the old way. So if you're installing this the old way as an Apache 2 module, you would wanna install these packages to start. 
And then I believe everything else that I'm going to install is going to be, yeah, it's going to be the same. So in this case, like I said, I'm going with PHP 8.3 FPM. So here we have these modules right here. The next step is, I always install PHP Common. So, and this doesn't matter what version of PHP, and, and same thing applies with uh, the other ones. I mean, you change the version number in the command. Uh, like for example, say it was 8.4, you do 8.4. Um, but uh, PHP Common installs, okay, apparently it's already installed. Anyways, here's what, P for anybody curious, here's what PHP Common installs all this stuff right here. I just run these anyways just to be safe because honestly I don't know. Uh, I am not I'm not a Linux guru. I know a few things uh, but I'm definitely not a Linux guru so I, fig I figure hey might, might as well make sure it's installed because if it is if it's already installed it doesn't hurt to run the command again it's, it's just gonna say that it's already installed. So uh, let's see as far as the advanced advanced package manager or uh, advanced package tool goes. Uh, the last thing we need to do with that is this right here. Now these are these are the PHP modules I picked out for my specific version of uh, WordPress. But like I said, make sure you run that PHP hyphen M command and then just copy this down to make sure that you have everything. Um, everything you need from the previous installation. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. And the rest is easy. I mean, the whole thing has been pretty easy uh, so far. So let me bring up my notes one more time. Uh, this might not make sense to some right off the bat. I just have all of these right here to just make sure. Like, I, I, obviously, I know I'm dealing with PHP 7.4, um, which is not currently FPM. But I just have everything. So that way I can just go like this. I can just copy and paste this and make sure that everything is disabled, whether it be um, PHP uh, using the Apache mo or uh, PHP as an Apache module or FPM. Let me just copy that and uh, paste it in here to make sure everything is disabled. If you know your PHP version, A2 disable or DIS for disable, either mod if it's um, uh, as an Apache 2 module or conf if it's FPM. And then of course, whatever, you know, PHP, you know, 7.4 after that. <clears throat> Before I show you how to enable uh, PHP FPM, I want to really quickly show you how you would do it if it was installed as an Apache 2 module. Because remember at the, uh, the very beginning when I first started installing it, I showed you the modules you would need to install if it was an Apache 2 module. If you went that route, then at this point, you would just type in sudo. I mean, unless you're already logged in as root, but uh, a2 en mod php 8.3. Now I'm not gonna press enter because uh, that's not the route we're going. Now in our case, since we're using php 8.3 fpm, we want this right here. sudo a2 en mod proxy underscore fc gi uh, and then sent env if and then it tells you right there to activate the new configuration you need to restart the apache 2 service but before we do that sudo a2 en conf php 8.3 fpm And I don't think this is necessary. 
Uh, like I said before, I'm not a Linux guru. I believe this command I'm going to put in here only has to do with the PHP that deals with the CLI. Because uh, if we go PHP hyphen uh, V for version, oh, it put it at 8.4. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter what it is because I do believe this is the for the CLI only. And I can, sh I can probably uh, prove that really quick. So if I go back and I restart uh, Apache 2, uh, rmtechcentral.com should be back up, and it is. Uh, let me go ahead and log in. All right, so if we go to server, we see that the update uh, to PHP 8.3 was successful. So we see 8.3.13. Uh, however, like I was just showing you, if we look here, uh, it's saying PHP 8.4. But remember when, uh, at the very beginning, when we installed the PHP repository, and then we uh, upgraded, it installed not only PHP 8.3, but also 8.4, and probably other versions as well, which I'm, I just go through and purge later on. Um, but like I was saying, I, I don't think this is necessary to do, but I do it anyways because I just want everything to match up because I'm a crazy person like that. So, uh, sudo update alternatives set uh, php forward slash user bin php 8.3. Boom. Now if we go php hyphen v, this reflects the, uh, the same thing. 8.3.13, just like it is shown here in uh, WordPress. But yeah, if if that's all you wanted to get out of this, I think you can pretty much probably just click off the uh, click off the video at this point. I'm gonna continue to ramble for just a few more moments here because there's a few things that I wanna point out and a few things I wanna change as well. Uh, so hey, if you're still sticking around, I appreciate you. Uh, let's see. First things first, I want to I want to purge every version of PHP that I'm not using. So I'll go uh, change directory, Etsy, uh, PHP, list. And we have all of these versions in 8.4. Even though I'm sure I'll probably be upgrading in the future, I'm not using 8.4 right now, so I'm going to purge that as well. So what we'll do is we'll go sudo uh, apt uh, purge <clears throat> php 5.6. I wonder if I can go, hold on. Let me see if I can just put multiples in here. Actually, I think I need to put an asterisk here as well. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I'm a Cisco guy, not a Linux guy, but I'm getting it. So did it do... Oh, no kidding. <laughs> I went through it on uh, the, the primary web server. I did this line by line by line. Okay, so... Looking good. All right. All right, there's that. I, I believe you can also go sudo apt remove. Uh, so I'll see if that comes up with anything. Uh, so PHP 7.4 was the last version I was using, so I'll just try that. Yeah, it's not installed. Okay, so it looks like purging it did the trick. Uh, but it, if you notice, it says the following packages were automatically installed and are no longer required. Um, you just go sudo apt auto remove and that will remove those packages that aren't uh, required anymore. And so the, um, also when you purge and uninstall, sometimes the directories linger around. So, oops, oh my God, I just exited out. What is wrong with me? I normally go through and just delete those directories after ensuring that, they, that it actually is uninstalled. Uh, I'm gonna spare you the time right now and just move on to the last thing 
which is going to be uh, the PHP any file and where that might be located based on your specific version of PHP. So let's go ahead and head back to uh, head back over to Etsy PHP and then we're, we're uh, currently PHP 8.3. Okay, so now we have actually let me go like this make it formatted a little bit better. We have uh, multiple directories. Don't worry about mods available. Uh, but if you're looking to modify the PHP any file that applies to the, I don't know what you'd call it, the, the, the context of PHP that you're running. Uh, sorry about that. If this cuts off abruptly, uh, I had a technical error and uh, I had to bring everything back up, uh, including my uh, microphone. I'm still on this microphone? Okay. Um, anyways, what was I saying? Um, the, uh, the context of PHP that you're running, if you will. Uh, so what I mean by that is you have PHP for the CLI. You have PHP, uh, remember earlier, I was talking about it being installed as an Apache 2 module, and you also have PHP uh, FPM, the Fast Process Manager. So depending on your, or should I say the, con the context of PHP that you're running, or the one that you're wanting to deal with, uh, you would you would go under whatever the corresponding folder would be. So if if you installed PHP as an Apache module, you would go under Apache 2 to modify the PHP any uh, file. And then of course, if you're concerned about PHP running it from the CLI, CLI. In our case, we installed FPM. So I'm gonna go uh, CD FPM, and we have our PHP. Uh, dot any file right here. If you have any questions or something doesn't work out for you quite right and you need some help, uh, you can reach out to me either in the comment section or you can you can contact me through the uh, contact form on rmtechcentral.com or send me an email to rob at rmtechcentral.com. Uh, but that about wraps it up. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.